Bridgetown. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, it gives me pleasure to rise in the House today to introduce Mr. Richard Flynn. Could you please stand, Richard? Um, Richard is a resident of uh, Cambridge Narrows, and he, he's an artist. And he's a phenomenal artist, and uh, certainly Cambridge Narrows and Queens County, it's an easy, uh, an easy area to be able to uh, paint. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Richard immigrated to Canada in 1990 with his wife Linda and two children, Rachel and Paul. Now they, they immigrated from the uh, rural Northumberland County in uh, northern England. Uh, they came to Cambridge Narrows about 20 years ago after a long lost uncle left him, uh, him Richard, uh, property. Richard loves the warm, hospitable nature of the Maritimes and says he was seduced from Britain by the beauty of New Brunswick arriving here in the middle of June with blue skies, clear horizons, and overlooking gorgeous Washtomoic Lake. And all I say is thank heavens he didn't arrive here in January or I don't think he'd be here. But uh, Richard has been working as an artist since graduating from uh, the Newcastle College of Art in England in 1970. Uh, in 1993, Richard opened the Acacia Gallery. It was uh, first incarnation, its first incarnation uh, was in the village of Gagetown, where it remained until 1998 when Richard oversaw the construction of a new custom-built gallery and studio near his home in Cambridge Narrows. And in case people don't know, that's on the Lakeside Road if you'd like to drop in. This space includes 20 acres of land and it's used as a resource for landscapes. It has a couple ponds and all natural uh, uh, foliage and fauna and it's, it's truly a gorgeous spot. I believe Richard is also going to be developing it into a place for uh, uh, performances and uh, other things. Since uh, 1970, Richard has been uh, very busy. Uh, uh, 1970, he was commissioned to paint a portrait of Bob um, Harbolt. Now, Bob was uh, taking part in the Cramlington train derailment during the 1928 Depression, so that is certainly well known over in England. In 1978, you know, Richard has received uh, uh, bursaries to help free up his time to uh, paint. In 1980, he was uh, accepted for the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition Program. Between 80 and 93, produced a series of por uh, portraits and frigative, uh, uh, figurative images of the Dudley Miners Institute and received uh, commissions for several towns and halls. And uh, the CBC did a documentary on that, Look North, and it's a phenomenal documentary. Um, over the time, um, Mr. Um, Flynn has been doing all sorts of paintings. Well, I ran into Richard uh, about a week or so ago out on Front Street, and uh, Richard informed me that he was doing landscaping uh, uh, portraits of the city of Fredericton, and he was up in the bell tower. And uh, since I got elected, one of my objectives was to make sure I got up to the bell tower, and I said, well, <laughs> Since you're a constituent, I better go up there to make sure that they're treating you right. So I had the opportunity to uh, get up in the bell tower and have a, it has a phenomenal view of uh, the surrounding area of Fredericton. Now Richard has completed uh, three of his landscapes and I believe two of them are from the bell tower and one's from the NB Power Building. So today, Richard has three of his landscapes uh, up in the... Um, the committee room, and I invite all members of the legislature to take your time to drop in and see this, these uh, phenomenal works. And I invite the students from uh, over in the Miramichi area to uh, take the opportunity to drop into the committee room and see the phenomenal uh, um, work that local artists in, uh, in Queens County are doing. Uh, Richard is just one of many local artists, potters, that um, live in Queens County. 
and uh, we're certainly very proud of it. So, Richard, um, congratulations on the work you're doing. You certainly make us very proud to be from Cambridge Narrows, to be from beautiful Queens County, um, and I, I encourage everybody to drop in and visit Richard's display up in the committee room, and better still, I encourage you to drop into Cambridge Narrows on the Lakeside Road to the Acacia Gallery and have a look at Richard's phenomenal work. I'll tell you, it's truly, truly, truly proud, uh, a proud New Brunswicker doing work, and Richard, thank you very much.